So now I want to work on the player help script. So that's where I am in the player help script and I want to improve it so that it's better to, uh, to, to use for the respawn on multiplayer. First of all, in the update, I don't need the shake anymore because I removed it. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this is shaking action. Now you can put it back later if you want to, but I'm not doing that for now because this is a bit uh, more um, confusing. So I'm just remove that. All right, now, in the logic here, we have if the player is not dead, then we put the current health. And if the health is less or equal to zero, we play death. But what I also want to do is that I want to make sure that the health is no less than zero. So I'm going to put current health is equal to zero. Then it's going to play the death animation. Um, so let's take a look at the death animation. All right. So in the death animation, what we see here we see that uh, it sets the trigger on all of them, on all of the uh, the actions, on uh, whether it's on the client or the server. But um, it's not; it might not be rippling through. It might not be uh, trans transmitting to uh, all the um, all the uh, the clients. So we need to make sure that it's doing that. So how we are going to do this? Well, we're going to add uh, to to make sure that we either on the server or not. So bear with me. I'm going to remove that and the destroy as well. We don't need that. So uh, I'm just going to. I'm just gonna just temporarily remove that. And what I'm gonna say is that if we are on the server, so if is server, then guess what? If we're on the server, then we need to tell everybody, so tell all the clients that we are, uh, that, that the, the player needs to die. So that's gonna be an RPC comment, RPC client. So I'm gonna do RPC death. However, I do not have the RPC death, so I'm going to create it right below. So that's an RPC to client. Um, I'm going to client RPC. All right, I'm going to create it here, and that will be public void RPC death. All right, now let's say what, what this does. Now, some of you may already know what we're going to do. It's very similar than the respawning because it happens everywhere. So, just let, first, let's make sure that it's not already uh, done. So, if is dead, so if the player is already dead, guess what? we just return because we don't want to do anything anymore. The player is already dead. All right. If not, then uh, let's, kill the, let's kill the player. Uh, so we're going to play the, uh, the kill animation. Anim.setTrigger. And we have a trigger to play the death animation. Death. All right. And then uh, now let's say that um, he's dead. So the player is dead is equal to true. All right, so that's it. At this point, the RPC dev is uh, saying that it's uh, it's dead. However, now what we want to do is that if we're not on the server, then let's kill. Let's kill the user. So else, how do you kill the user? Well, you just play the death animation here. So that would be anim dot set trigger, and uh, the same. That would be the death trigger, and then is dead is true. Just like below. Now, remember, guys, we the reason why this will work is that because we already are synchronizing the client to the server at this point. How do how do I know that we are already synchronizing the dev to, to the, the server? Well, if you go back to Unity and you select the Iron Man uh, prefab, remember that in one of the video lectures that we did earlier, we added the component. Let me show you. You guys see it right there? The network animator. You guys see it right here? This network animator, it synchronizes the speed and the death. So if the death animation plays here, then it will play everywhere because from the local to all the other clients will be synchronized. All right, so I believe that's pretty much it. Um, so let me double check. So we set the death here. Um, the shake camera, I removed it. So let me just remove that. We don't need it for now. All right, so yes, I believe though, that's it. Now I'm gonna clean it up by removing this. And now the last thing we need to do is also take care of the Iron Man behavior script. So I'm going to go in Unity and make sure that we stop the shooting, right? So once we're dead, we cannot shoot. And, um, and we want to update that on the respawn and, and re-enable the shooting. So I'm going to look for the uh, Iron Man, the Iron Man behavior script. There it is. And double click on it to open it. Here it is. And now what I want to do inside of this, I want to locate the place where we are um, doing the update and the fixed update. So first of all, the is enabled. We're not going to need this anymore because this is for the enemies. But now 
Um, this is always going to be, the enemies are always going to be um, doing something because there are multiplayers, not just one player. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm also going to remove the is enabled. So I'm going to go all the way up and you guys see the is enabled. I'm just going to remove the whole line. Now I'm going to do a command F or control F and look for is enabled. And I'm going to remove the logic everywhere that we have the is enabled. I don't need that anymore. Next. This is another one. So disable. I don't need a disable movement. All right. I'm going to remove that. And um, and uh, I'm sure that I'm breaking the uh, the player enemy script. So I'm going to look for it. I'll actually, I'm going to save and go back to Unity. And as you can see, it's complaining. So I can go to the console and see that the, uh, the enemy attack, because this is stopping the enemy attack, as you can see if there's no player movement, but I don't need this right now. So I'm going to remove that. All right. And save this. All right. Now going back to, um, so now I need to go back to the uh, Iron Man behavior script and uh, I'm done with the is enabled. And what I want to do is um, take a look at the update. As you can see, my update is totally empty. I don't need to do anything in this update, but I do have a fixed update. As you can see, my fixed update here is doing a bunch of things. But what I want to do is that uh, I don't even want to take all of this. I just want to take that only um, after. So I want to do here if is local player. Actually, so if it's if it's not the local player, I'm just going to return straight. I don't want to execute any of the code. I don't want to be able to take the uh, coordinates. There's no need of, of doing that. So I can remove this piece of code and this piece of code as well. Right, so I'm going to do command X, command V, so that it's uh, synchronized, it's, it's aligned. All right, and finally, here we want to make sure that we're not doing anything here, or we don't want to move if there's no more health, right? So if the health is less than zero, so if that would be get component, and the component will be the uh, player health dot current health is less or equal to zero, then we return. All right. 